Hey guys, it's Aki here and welcome to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to talk about custom tactics and how to create your own perfect custom tactics because it's something that you guys has been asking me about for a while. You asked it for my custom tactics and my answer to that is that, well, it would might give you um, some beneficial stuff um, but the truth is that there are many factors and we all play differently and therefore the custom tactics should be something personal and that is what this video is going to be about. We're going to find your custom tactics which suits you the best and not just copying things because that will eventually in the end not always be beneficial if you ask me. So therefore, I'd rather make this video to explain you how I set up my custom tactics, what kind of factors I look at, because there are three factors, which is very essential for how I am creating my custom tactics. So let's head into those three steps. So the first step is game style. How do you want to play? Do you want to play direct, have a lot of uh, shots on the goal? performing a high pressure or do you have a more balanced style? Do you like to keep the ball a bit more, play a bit more balanced? These things are very important for you to make up with yourself before you start doing these custom tactics because you need to find out how do I want to play and which kind of game style do I want to have because if we take a look here, I found the custom tactics for a random team I created and First of all, we have the speed. Do you want to build up fast? If you're playing direct, etc., etc., you obviously need to put it up. But if you want to play a bit more possession based, a bit more slow, patient build up, you obviously need to do it more balanced, maybe a bit slower. Uh, usually, I would tend to just put it on 50. So it's very balanced if I want to keep the ball a bit more. While the passing again, should be higher with more risks if you want to play fast, if you want to take some gambles in your game style. Or if you want to play a bit more slow, you obviously need to put it down or make it balanced again, but not putting it up too high. That's very important note. And it's essentially the same for the others. Uh, it all depends on your game style. Do you cross a lot? Do you like to cross a lot? Then you obviously need to put it up. If you don't use, you obviously need to put it lower. Um, only things here I will say is quite important, no matter how you play, is that the shooting should definitely be higher than 50. And I always put the positioning in free form, but that's just my matter of taste. Shooting and positioning, aggression is the three things I would always like to put a bit more up than 50. Um, and the reason why is um, when you have more in shooting, I feel like that the players seek the rebounds a bit more. They're more aggressive in your opponent's box. And with aggression as well here, uh, the, the computer, the AI, will be a bit more aggressive in your double teammate pressure play. So that is why I put these two up. And the positioning is a matter of taste. I would like my players to be a bit more creative and innovative in my offensive game style. So to sum it up, you need first of all to make it clear how you want to play before you are going to do your custom tactics. And that brings us over to the next step, the second step, which is formation, which obviously um, put us together with the game style because if you play fast direct uh, you would most likely play a formation with two strikers or even three strikers it's harder to play direct in an other a formation such as four five one four two three one four three three defensive you name it while the more direct play typically is in the narrow diamond or uh, the four three two one four triple two such as those formations so depending on which formation you are playing your custom tactics also need to be adjusted by that and uh, later on in the video i'm going to show you two examples on two teams how i would put 
um, my custom tactics in to two specific teams with different players, which will bring us over to the last step I take into uh, consideration before doing my custom tactics. Um, I made two teams with different players, different formations, which allows you to play a certain style. And you need to keep that into your mind as well when you are creating the custom tactics. When you take a look at your team, which heads us over to the third step now. When you head over to your team, you have to take a look at your players. Which players do I have in my club? What are their strengths? Are they fast or are they really strong? Or are they both? Are they fast and strong? Are they overpowered? What is their strengths? And you need to, to take a look at the players you have and see, okay, what are they good at? Because then I can put them in um, to my squad, create my team, like get my formation and uh, my player instructions on the players uh, so it benefits them the best way. And after that, you should also look at the custom tactics and see, okay, uh, their strengths, if we have a player that's really fast, we obviously need to have maybe the speed a bit more up because then you would like your players for example to get in behind your two strikers therefore you maybe need to play a bit more fast play a bit more direct for example meanwhile if you have a um, more strong players who are good in the air but maybe not that fast it's maybe more a balanced formation where you just can't you know make those through balls with the same effect which means that your custom tactics obviously need to be not that direct perhaps. So there are many factors uh, such as the players you have available on your team, your formation, the way you want to play and obviously your player instructions which is also a factor actually. So that is mainly the three steps I use and now we're gonna head over to the two teams where I created player instructions. I took in some random players but try to like put it up between a slower team and a faster and also a more strong team because obviously if you have some better players you can play with some more risks or you can uh, you can do some stuff that you can't do with the other team because more things are possible with a better squad we know that for ultimate team and yeah heading over to the first example we have a 4-2-3-1 here and uh, it's not the best team at all. It's actually quite poor if you ask me in general. But what is important to notice here is that I mainly picked not the fastest players like Kaka, uh, Jonas. Uh, we have some fast players, for example, Alan and uh, Bernard is quite fast and the, and the fullbacks as well. If you're taking it into consideration which position they play, they are quite fast. But the rest of the team is very balanced, not the fastest team. And um, the player instructions on this team is uh, Jonas. If we take a look at the stats, as you can see, he's very slow. But he has great shooting, great dribbling, etc. Decent work rate as well. Um, he's not that small for striker, I reckon. He's not strong according to the stats, but however, I believe that he should be even a target man or false nine. Uh, I'm quite sure we took a false nine on him, which means he will fall a bit down and help with the build up play. At the same time, we didn't touch the cams here, but we took Alan and Gustavo to stay back while attacking, and the same with the two fullbacks. And as mentioned, this team is not the best one. You will not be able to play direct, if you ask me, with great efficiency. Which is why our custom tactics look like this. The speed we have it on 55, and the reason why we have the speed on 55 is that, which I already said, it's not the fastest team, so therefore we have to play this balance, which you can also see in the passing, it's totally balanced. Uh, the same with the passing here. Crossing, we took it a bit down. Not too much since we actually have Jonas who could be 
uh, dangerous on the crosses. However, I'm not sure how much efficiency it has if you put crossing a lot up. You can see the shooting on, is on 60 and that is because of my, my thoughts in general. As I mentioned earlier also that I want the shooting aggression always to be over 15 and the same with the positioning is free form i feel like they need to be creative and create opportunities for themselves the ai and heading over to the pressure we took it down on 40 and the reason why we did that is because our center backs are not fast we have marquinhos and we have rafael toloy which means if we pressure high there will be a lot of space behind the defense our fullbacks is quite fast but if our center backs is not fast because you usually have those situations where it's two versus two or two versus three and there you need to have some some fast center backs if you're going to pressure high because otherwise you will get trapped the team will fall back and be a strong unit and that is important if your team doesn't have that individual quality which this team doesn't have it's very ordinary team However, the aggression, 60, and again, one of my principles, I want the AI to be aggressive um, when I'm using that double teammate pressure. And the team with very balanced again, they should be uh, very compact defense overall. And that was the first example, and uh, we created this custom tactic based on the formation, on the players available, and how you can play best with this team. So taking a look at the second example here, and it's a much better team as you can see. We had De Gea, we have Rio Ferdinand, Maldini, Vieira, Henri, we have five icons here. We have Gnabry, we have Taliska, Suarez, we have Demarcus. All players here are fast. They are really fast, um, the majority of them. And they also have a lot of individual quality. And notice that the formation is the diamond narrow, which often is not a position based um, formation. It's typically the players who want to pressure high and who wants to play direct and finish their attacks fast. And yeah, just have a, a solid structure and just try to get more goals than the opponent to be honest that's how i see the diamond narrow in general take a lot of courage to play that way but if you find the key it's very 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 efficient and we're gonna look at the custom tactics i created for this team now As you can see it's it's much more for from the balanced custom tactics the speed should be high you should get the ball up to the free front frio as fast as possible uh, which is why we have it on 67 the passing on 60 organized still that's very important for me they should not take risk in the defense still passing again here on 60 crossing we took it a bit lower since you have two strikers now and not only one which means that you will have one more opportunity to find a striker in the box shooting very high um, it is an aggressive formation and that is why I took the shooting very high up on this one and free form once again pressure we take it a lot more high here uh, since we have loads more of pace and individual quality in the one in the one versus one battles and therefore you can take some more risks in the defense and uh, simply because your team is much better here uh, Aggression, very aggressive as well. And again, we're talking about the individual quality on the team. While the team width is the same, I like that number. It's, it's balanced and uh, I'm not sure how the team width is if you put it on like 20 or if you put it on 80. I don't think it's a good idea. So once again, we created a much more aggressive custom tactics just for this team. And we have the two strikers to get in behind, the cam to stay forward, CDM and fullback to stay back. And we have three amazingly fast strikers right here, which means that we can make those through balls. We can play fast. We can try to use the depth and the space behind the defense much more with this team, with this formation, which is why the custom tactics should be higher. That was the two examples. 
a very high difference between the quality obviously but even if you had like a cheaper bpl team with no icons but you had fast players um you should still try to do this like if you have marshall if you have sterling if you have fast players and you play this way this is a good way to do it you can also play direct in the 4231 if you have the fast players to do it you need to look at your player material before you create your custom tactics and your game style that was the two examples as well on the team the game style uh, how you can put your custom tactics up how you can set it up in a proper way if you ask me um, and hopefully um, you have a better idea now on how to create your custom tactics because it is a very it's a it's a big phenomenon in fifa uh, people ask a lot about uh, these things and i get a lot of requests about it and to be honest there is no secret ingredients to to like just copy something and put it in yeah it could work but in the end you want to have your own custom tactics you want to create your own find your own what suits your style the best it's a matter of taste and we all play differently and that is why i decided to put up this video and try to to explain myself how i see it and some of you would might think uh this video is useless just send me your custom tactics Age. uh while others i might help you guys some of you guys out there which was my ambition with this video and now I give you my advice on how to create and set up your personal custom tactics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Massive thank you for watching. Social media is down below. Don't forget to hashtag it. Very important thing. And uh, the name is Rosemeyer. See you until next time.